Hey guys, today we're gonna do a big ol' cleaning video today. I'm gonna do a deep clean. Last night Violet got sick and threw up and it was so random, she was totally fine all day long. And then it ha like throughout the night she was in the bathroom. Uh, so because of that, whenever something like that happens, I go into like full deep clean mode and I just all of a sudden get all of this energy to just clean all the things that don't necessarily get cleaned all the time, like blankets and things like that. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a lot of laundry, cleaning different rooms, vacuuming, um, deep cleaning the carpets. So I hope you guys get some motivation and let's get into it. All right, so a tip for being productive throughout your day is to write down four things that you would like to get done. If I, four or less, if you write down more than four, at least what I found is I will do some of them, but they're not the ones on the high priority list. They are maybe easier ones that I just wanna get done and I feel good about tackling a few things, but if there are some pressing things that I really need to get done, I have to tell myself, put those down first. And then if you have time to do other things, then great, but at least you are getting done the things that you really find necessary. Here I'm cleaning Violet's carpets. We have the Hoover, it's a vacuum cleaner, and I really like it. I think I've had it for over a year at least. So you put the solution in the back and it is kind of a pain to clean. Like that is definitely an inconvenience is having to clean this thing, but it is really nice having this at home. And since having this, we actually haven't used like a carpet cleaner, a carpet cleaning service. So that's been nice. We don't have a ton of carpet in our house, but we do in uh, two bedrooms. We've put wood in Owen's room. We wanna eventually switch out the floors upstairs, but right now we still have some carpet. And so this is a savior for that. I also really need to use this on our stairs. Our stairs have been looking not so great lately. Um, so I'm going over her carpet with this a few times to really, get it as clean as possible. This uh, cleaner in particular, they have different ones you can buy, like different solutions. The one I get is the, I think it's called Free and Clear. So it has a little bit less of the chemicals. I also love to open up windows when I'm doing a deep clean. It just brings in fresh air. And especially doing this in the fall, I think is so good for your house. Just give your house like a big, fresh, clean, even though it's cold outside, fresh air is so, crucial to have consistently in your house. I think a lot of people just keep their windows sh shut when it, it's colder outside, but fresh air is just like, I think it's underrated. We also have air purifiers. We have one upstairs and one downstairs, and those are great to turn on, especially if somebody is sick in the house. I do like to run those. I was listening to a podcast, the A Thousand Hours podcast. It's a great one if you have little kids. And she had a guest on talking about you know people get more sick in the fall time and a lot of that is due to being outside less we're getting less sunshine we are eating more sugary foods more baked items more candy and sugar lowers your immune system and we're just less active in the fall like as it starts as the temperatures start to drop we are less active and all of that contributes to our immune system being a little bit lower so i'm really trying right now to make it a point to go to the parks like if the kids aren't playing much outside go to a park let them run around and be active and physical for a decent amount of time and just like ignoring the temperatures i think a lot of the time we can be like oh it's cold let's just stay inside it's nice and cozy in here but we are going to remember that we live in california and it's much colder in other places and we need to toughen up <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, that podcast is so good. I'm going to put it down below. She also posted one recently with a 
college student and he was talking about the dangers of cell phone use for kids. It was just so informative and so cool to listen to the perspective of a college age kid. I, I feel like, you know, a lot of us moms are not wanting our kids to get phones for a very, very long time, but it just really reinforced that after I listened to this and just showing how how isolated kids feel, how lonely kids feel now, and how poor their socialization skills are because of cell phones and just how damaging it is. So definitely check out the Thousand Hours podcast. They're really, really good. Okay, I am going to change out of my pajamas right now, but I had to show you guys this jacket. I ordered this for the Prime when they were doing like the Amazon Prime sales, and I got it in a medium and it was, like a little too tight. I wanted it baggier, so I got a large and I really love it. Um, I'll link it down below for you, but it's so comfortable. It's really thick and nicely made. You never know about Amazon clothes, but I just really like the fit. I wanted to insert this clip because now that everybody is better, I'm just convinced that taking all of these consistently every day helped the healing process of all of our kids. So June barely got anything. She got a little bit we, she threw up the week before, but it was so minor. It, we thought it was food. And then Owen never threw up, but he did get a fever. Um, but everybody, it was like 12 hours or less. So I just can't recommend these enough because I feel like in the past, whenever we the kids do get sick, it lasts for a really long time. And it's been so different this time around. So I give this to everybody in our family every morning. The Mary Ruth's Liquid Morning Multivitamin. It's just good for so many things. I love it for energy in the morning, but it's great for immunity too. It's also really helped my hair grow really fast. And then the Organic Kids Ionic Zinc. I do a drop or two of this in a little shot glass with all of these. The Vitamin C, just to kind of do a little boost for the fall time, and the Elderberry Drops. So we do a little concoction of all these every morning, and I just think it's helped us a ton. So I will link them down below and you guys can still use my discount code. It is MRO Kendra 20, all caps. It'll get you 20% off. You can use it on their website. You can also use it on Amazon. Okay. Moving into our bathroom. I wanted to do a little vacuuming upstairs. So I start in here because I shed quite a lot of hair, especially because I, I blow dry my hair a lot more these days. And so when I do that, a lot of hair comes out and it, is not Andrew's favorite thing. So cleaning up the hair in here. And also Kyla sleeps in her room at night. And so she sheds a lot. So all of her hair come out of my hair, it's a lot of hair. So I do have to vacuum quite often in our house. So I'm vacuuming up here and then I'll get to just upstairs in general. But I did want to say really quickly, I have been just so happy with how our bathroom turned out. I feel like I posted about it and then I haven't really said much about it since, but Love the color still. The color is Benjamin Moore Backwoods. It's just such a interesting green and in different times of the day, it appears more moody and dark. Sometimes like in this shot, it looks kind of brighter and more vivid, but in life, like in real life, I feel like it feels much more darker, but I've just been really happy with it. So our next project is the kids' bathroom, which is kind of our last project of the house, to be honest. And it's just been one that we've put off because we had a leak in their bathroom. And so we had to do some repairs to the ceiling and it's just dirty from all the drywall and everything. And so it's just something that I am procrastinating in tackling, but I will get to it one of these days.
Okay, I take back what I said. We also want to switch out these floors upstairs for lighter, a lighter color. These are, they make the upstairs look so dark. In this shot, it actually looks so bright and nice, but I just feel like once we're upstairs, you go downstairs and it's all nice and airy and bright, and then you come upstairs and it just feels very heavy and dark. So we are hoping to just slowly switch out the wood. We've done Owen's room, like I said earlier, and then we'll do the kid or the girl's rooms and then move on to this area. But it also shows everything. It shows all of, and Kyla, she's a white dog, so her fur just shows everywhere. <laughs> oh man, but again, like just such a big project and the dust that accumulates because of that is something that we are just not wanting to deal with right now. And I feel like we always start projects around the holidays. So we are trying to not do that this year and wait until the following year and we can do it then. while I'm doing laundry, I did have a question for you guys about detergent and I wanted to know if you have any good recommendations. If you do, leave them down below because I, I found some that I like but I feel like it's hard to find ones that work really well but are also clean and pure that don't have fragrance. It's so hard to find laundry products without fragrance. I feel like that is definitely a category that is just heavily loaded with fragrance and it just gives us all a headache and I just don't want to be using that. So let me know for sure if you have something that's good. This I'm using is like an active wear type of, it's kind of like a OxyClean type of product and it helps with clothes that we wore to the gym that just are sweaty and just have an odor to them. And I actually just use that in all of our loads of laundry now and it helps everything just smell nice and fresh. All right, we are in the kitchen. I'm wiping down the counters. This has been something that I've been doing so much more often now and it just makes everything so much better. It's just wiping down the counters and having the kitchen nice and clean and tidy before I go to bed at night. I know I'm not doing filming this at nighttime, but I did wanna just talk about that because it is something that I've made a priority now and I feel like in the past I, would always see it as such a hassle. And I think what's really worked for me is getting our kitchen clean done early, like before we eat dinner. As I'm eat, or as I'm cooking dinner, I will try to clean up as I go. So by the time we're eating, the kitchen's pretty much clean. And then I just have to get to the dishes that we used for dinner. And typically those will just go in the dishwasher and I'll start the dishwasher right after dinner and then everything is good to go until morning time. And I feel like you just wake up feeling so much better with the clean kitchen. You can sit down drinking your coffee without having to worry about crumbs on the table. And I don't know, I just, is a simple thing, but sometimes it can feel like a hassle at the end of the day when you're just tired and the last thing you wanna do is clean more. Just not making it like a to-do, just doing it and not giving myself the option. I think it's just, fully your mindset. And I mentioned this in an Instagram post, I believe recently, how in the past, I feel like there was a time when the girls were little where I would complain a lot about cleaning and how, you know, it never ends and all I do is clean and blah, blah, blah. And I've just had a, a big mindset shift over the past year or so 
where now I take pride in our house and I've realized that my role right now is to be a mom and a wife and a homemaker. And a big chunk of that is cleaning and keeping our home tidy and keeping a peaceful atmosphere for our family and understanding that that is such an important job and it's not it's not a hassle. It's not something that I have to do. It's something that I get to do. And I'm really happy that I get to do this. I'm happy that I get to stay home with our kids and homeschool and, and be the main one that they're with. It's something that I don't want to feel like I'm always complaining about anymore. So I've really tried to just focus on being grateful for what I get to do. A place you can start is at the kitchen sink. If you find yourself being down on yourself and your current situation, the sink and washing dishes is a great place to pray. If you feel like you're not praying enough during the day, just do it when you're washing dishes. A lot of the times I'll pray when I'm driving too. It's just kind of like when you're driving, nothing's really happening. So it's a perfect time to pray and just reflect on things and people who need prayers. But the kitchen sink is also a great place to do that. You can even put something to remind yourself on your windowsill, like let's jot down my prayer list or a little cross so you can remind yourself that okay this is my time this is not wasted time during the day this is valuable time Does anybody else, when you're wiping your counters, just throw out all the crumbs and everything on the ground? <laughs> or is that just me? I mean, unless it's like big things, then I will I will put that in my hand and throw that away. But a lot of the times if I know I'm gonna vacuum, I just chuck everything on the ground. And then I know that the vacuum will be coming in shortly and I can vacuum it all up. I also love to vacuum at a certain time of the day. I know that sounds really weird, but like three o'clock, the sun, shines right into this room and it casts this light on the ground and you can see everything so much better. You can see all of Kyla's hair, you can see all the crumbs and it's just like everything's magnified. So I feel like my vacuuming tends to happen around that time of day. Okay, as I'm filming this or watching this, as I'm doing these voiceovers, I'm realizing other little projects around the house that I have in mind. So there is one other thing that I would like to do and that is to paint our island brown. Okay, bear with me now and listen to my ideas. So I feel like when we moved into our house, it was so heavy and dark, the, the walls were like a bluish tone that really made it look a little bit darker. A lot of dark browns, the dark wood floors. Down here it was the tile floor. So it just felt very cold and dark, which made me want to paint everything white and make it very bright and airy. So we did that. But then what happened is it was too much white. 
not enough contrast. And so, especially since we redid the flooring down here, it just made everything feel so much more cozy and warm. And as I've been decorating a little differently too, using a little bit more antique pieces, thrift finds, everything has kind of evolved to become a little bit more lived in, it has more character, and I feel like our island would look amazing if it was a dark wood tone, like a chocolate brown, like the color of our, um, our hood right over there above the stove top. Ideally, I'd like a wooden island, like just a pretty stain, but we couldn't with our kitchen how it is. So I looked on Pinterest and I saw a really pretty kitchen that was painted dark brown. And I just feel like if just the island, like the top would still be white, everything else around it, surrounding would be white. I feel like if that had that little touch of contrast, it would just bring a lot of depth to this whole area in our home. So let me know down below, what are your thoughts? Alright guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Bye.